Good morning, guys. Good morning. Aw, what happened, Kenny? Did you forget to use your music service? Or is somebody just getting even more lazy? That was the most boring intro on a video in quite some time. Ooh, somebody's driving, and then you could hear someone was snapping photos. And then isn't it hilarious how Carol has so much more enthusiasm with her good morning compared to Ken with his good morning, guys. We are in Alabama. I'm not sure what town we are in. Do you see how lazy he is? We all know he doesn't do any research for his videos. That's why he always runs into a problem. But he loves to, you know, say whatever town or city he's in. He couldn't take 10 seconds before he started filming to look on his phone to see where he was. That would have been the simple thing. No. Uh, we're in Alabama, but I don't know where we are. That's just as bad as any time that he, he says something like, uh, you know, the sky is blue. I don't know. Maybe it is. You know, you know that whole shtick? It's just annoying. We really wanted to eat at the Cracker Barrel. There's, an, there's a Bucky's really close to here, and I really want to do a video uh, of Carol at Bucky's. Dude, what is your obsession with Bucky's? It is an oversized gas station serving, I guess, slightly better, you know, quick service fast food. But at the rate you're going, Poor Bucky the Beaver is going to have to get a restraining order against you. But what do you want to do? Take Carol so that you can ask her to go film the women's bathroom? Because that's the one place in Bucky's that you haven't gotten to film yet? In case there's people here that are new, that was, uh, you know, a crack against Ken in his first Bucky's video where he actually filmed inside the men's bathroom, which is a big no-no. Companies are not allowed to put cameras in there, so why should Ken Domic be allowed to film in a public restroom? Uh, but uh, we really want to do our Cracker Barrel first and maybe on the way home hit a Bucky's and then make a video of Carol eating at Bucky's. Yeah. It's the same regurgitated offerings on your channel. You have gone and eaten at a Cracker Barrel multiple times. You have gone to Bucky's multiple times. Yes, Carol wasn't with you, but you went with your boyfriend, Paul. So why do you have to go back to eat literally the exact same foods? Or who knows what you'll be able to eat because Carol is so picky. Like... Here's an idea. How about you go to a mom and pop shop in the U.S.? There are plenty of those. Down in the South, there are plenty of meat plus twos or meat plus threes. Those are, you know, unique. You don't really see those up here in Canada. So why couldn't you film at places like that? I know there, there are tons on the way down to Florida because I researched it myself when I was planning a trip. But nope, you always have to go with the, the chain food, the fast food, and it's always the same crap that we've seen you eat 10, 15, 20, 30, 100 times on your channels. Burgers and fries. Eggs Benny. Such a joke. Such a hack. But of course, there's a Waffle House right over there. And we've already done the Waffle House. So now we're going to do our Cracker Barrel. Have a good breakfast. 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 And uh, I think we'll be in Florida at my uncle and aunt's place by around 6 o'clock. Depending on how long this takes and depending on how long it takes to gas up and stuff. Because we definitely need to gas up one more time before we 
uh, get down to Florida. We won't make it, but sweet help, sweet home, Alabama is here. You ready to go eat some food? Yes, let's go. Yeah, are you gonna get something regular or are you gonna do something different? Uh, probably something different. Ooh, what's she gonna pick? <laughs> Leave a comment. All right, let's go. <laughs> Shut the lights off. There you go. In the RV parking, there's RV right there. It's just easier for to park here. I love that. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, love this place. A little shopping. Oh, Easter's here for sure. Bread. Candy. Hello. How are you today? I'm well. Yes. No fire today. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Well, no shit. Jesus Christ, no shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, no, no, that was another guy. His name was Shit Sherlock. First name, no. No shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Thank you. All right, what are we gonna eat today, ladies and gentlemen? So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a breakfasty thing. Oh, they do have biscuit Benny. Hmm, I don't think I've ever done their biscuit Benny. Becoming predictable. So predictable. So predictable. Early dinner deals. Oh, and they've got all these things. Hello. All right, how are you doing? Can I just have a glass of water? Can I do water and a coffee, please? Thank you. Look at that. Bacon, mac and cheese. Yeah, they got beer now. Mmm, gummy beer. Mmm, beer. Mmm, beer. Mmm, beer better German. Hey, give me one of those famous giant beers I heard so much about. Something wrong, Yank? Mmm, beer. No, it's pretty big, I guess. Mmm, fattening. Oh. Loaded steak fries. That looks amazing. Golden Carolina barbecue chicken tenders. Wow. Look how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's killer. I think I'm going to sample the, uh, the. Biscuit Benny. Yeah, I've never done that before, so why not? I think I'll do the. This is where now, in a second, he's gonna say it comes with bacon or sausage. But as usual, he does not read the menu properly. Below that, it says with sugar cured or country ham or impossible sausage. So there's two different options. For $10.99, you can pick bacon or sausage. For a higher price, $11.49, you can pick the ham. This is the whole Londa's Diner scenario all over again. No, he doesn't make any sort of complaint. I'm just pointing out the fact that he misreads a menu. So he could have had a different option because most times an Eggs Benny or Eggs Benedict is usually ham. But he's just super predictable. He ended up doing another Eggs Benedict and that was the second time he did it 
in the course of three or four videos on his main channel. So within two weeks, he had two Eggs Benedict videos on KBD Productions TV. Bacon or sausage? Oh, fantastic. Cracker barrel coffee. Figure out what size you're gonna get. I, I'm thinking it's this. Just watching everybody else get food. I'm happy now. <laughs> it all looks amazing. Thank oh, you, well, No problem. We're going to get people. Can I please have the, the mama's breakfast with French toast mm -hmm. and two scrambled eggs and bacon? And that's it. Thank you. I'm going to do your egg granny. Well, look who read the menu. It sounded like he was going to get bacon. But I guess he must have seen that, oh, you can get ham, but I want the regular ham. I don't want the sugar cured. I want the regular ham. And how do you want to open this? Uh, soft. Okay. Like soft scrambled? Like a do you not post them? Like post day? Uh, we don't do post day. Oh. But we can do like over medium. Like, over medium. Sure. Or over easy. Over easy. There you go, there you go. <laughs> That's the best. Aw, poor Ken. He's gonna cry internally because he can't get poached eggs. Because he wanted a soft poached egg. And instead he has to settle for over easy. Wah. It's literally almost the same thing. At home, he eats nothing but fried eggs. Except for half the time, it's uh, sunny side up. He could have probably asked for that. If he really wanted it to be, you know, uh, super runny. Thankfully, we didn't have to put up with him being his passive-aggressive self and fixating on the fact that he couldn't get his poached eggs in this particular video. I think we're really getting to him on that front. Um, uh, do your casserole, your macaroni casserole, and uh, I saw them getting the, the apples, so they look good, yeah. Anything else real? Uh, I think that's it, thank you. Thank you. Another coffee came, so I'm gonna drink that up. Oh, that coffee's hotter than the last one. That's good. Good, good, good. It's biscuit time. Biscuits. I'm not sure what these are for, though. Is that where you put your biscuit in? Or is it a hat? Is that where you put your biscuit in? Or is it a hat? Ken Domic with an attempt at a dad joke, but I wouldn't even call that a grandpa joke. That was the stupidest, most pointless thing that he could have said. It's just him spewing out words because he thinks the video needs it. Who here thought that, oh, maybe it's a hat, was funny? I, I, I don't think anybody would think that it's funny. I bet you, if you got a five-year-old, ask them that same question. What do you think this is for? They would come up with something much more interesting or perhaps even comical, than Ken Doofus. Kids say the darndest things. Ken says the dumbest things. Ooh, we've got strawberry preserves. Butter. I don't know what that's for. I don't know. Definitely, that's not why you put your bun in. You know that when he was looking around, he was trying to see what other people might have been using those little blue dishes for. It's likely that the waitress is accustomed to grabbing those for other customers, and Ken and Carol simply didn't have something that it would have been used for. In photos online for Cracker Barrel, you can see it holding a country gravy or um, butter if they didn't have packets of it. And in some instances, it came inside the basket with the biscuits 
and it was holding the jam and other packets of butter that they had. So Ken just has to play it up and make himself look like a giant man-child for whatever apparent reason. He literally looked like a little kid playing with it. As you could see where I stopped it, he was tipping it and then just dropped it on the table. And then he eventually gets rid of it and uses a napkin to place his, his uh, biscuit on. Canadian. Oh, look at that. See? Even Carol had to chime in that no one else was using the little blue cups or dishes as they thought. And Ken looked like he was going to be embarrassed by it. And he goes, well, we're just Canadian. Ha ha ha. Yes, Ken. Making all Canadians look like they're stupid. No. You're just a doofus. Mr. and Mrs. Doofus. At their finest. I swear, Carol. I thought you were much smarter than this years ago, but clearly, the longer you stay around Ken, the stupider you get. Butter. Bread it. Jam. Oh, definitely got to make sure that you get the infantile routine in there. Butter. Spread it. Jam. And then, aw, oh, how nice of you. There's three things that we know that you give to Carol now. Open packets of jam. Fist bumps. And demands. Oh, look, they got blueberry. You want a blueberry? No. Do you want strawberry? You don't want blueberry? Oh, it's, sorry, it's grape. They look like blueberries, but they're grape. This is blueberry. Are you kidding? I don't think no, so. No, it's blackberry. See? Again, further proof that neither one of them takes the time to actually read anything. So my questioning their ability to read or their literacy is not slander or libelous. First, they look at a packet of grape jam and think that it looks, the picture makes it look like it's blueberries. Then they get a packet of blackberry jam and again, look at the picture and think that it's blueberries. If they would have taken two seconds to read the damn label, they would have saved themselves a lot of friggin' disappointment. And you, have said you, you prefer the strawberry over the blackberry? I do, but if, but if you would rather nope. not some of it? We're so polite. Yes, we are. Ken, polite? If that ain't a load of horse shit, I don't know what is. He didn't even believe it. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. That's how he said it. Yes, we are. In such a gruff and glum way. Yes, we are. We are so polite. Yeah, yeah. Now shut your mouth, Carol. Sir, um, could I trouble you for a glass of warm milk? It helps put me to sleep. You could trouble me for a warm glass of shut the hell up. Gonna put that all over. Happy breaking lunch fast. Yeah, this is our first meal of the day. This is my meal. Yeah. Cheers. Here we go. Mm, yummy. So not only do we have to watch two people do the ridiculous cheers bit with food, but then Ken has to use his puppet, aka Carol, to do his bidding by shoving her biscuit down her gullet as he chimes out, yummy, in the background. Seriously, how are they not embarrassed doing that in public? Oh good. That's delicious. Mm. Oh good. The biscuit already is buttery mm -hmm. before you put butter on it. Wow. Oh man, that's so 
Ken any better than this. Of course, Ken and his feeble little mind that doesn't know anything about food would think that the biscuits there couldn't get any better. No, a, an actual homemade biscuit by somebody would not be any better than the ultra-processed packaged biscuits that you get at a chain restaurant. That is what those are, Ken. How do you think um, the Cheddar Bay Biscuits from Red Lobster can be purchased at a grocery store? Because it's a recipe that they process in a factory in bulk and th that's how it comes to the restaurant. Not dry. I hate when they're dry, but I don't think I've ever had a dry biscuit. Maybe once. Boy, what riveting uh, conversation between a married couple of over 20 years. Yeah, regaling his wife over the fact that he doesn't think he's ever had a dry biscuit from uh, a Cracker Barrel. Oh, well, no, maybe once I did. Yeah, I got, I, yeah, I, I gotta throw in that I probably did at least once because uh, I don't want people to, to think that uh, I'm always saying restaurants are perfect because I, I get a lot of grief on that. Because I, I do. I, I say all restaurants, all the chains are perfect because I want them to, to sponsor me. I want free crap. That cracker barrel. Man, that was good. Blood sugar level. <laughs> Skyrocketed. Skyrockets in flight. Woo! Afternoon delight. Whoop. Afternoon delight. And the not. Quick. She show her vagina. You will never get this. You will never get this. La 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 la. So we got two more biscuits, but I'm gonna wait until see how much room I have left after I eat my my breakfast. Oh, you did go French toast. Nice. And there we have the proof. When I say that Ken does not listen when other people are talking. He was sitting at the table, and it looked like he was intently listening as Carol was ordering her breakfast. And the first thing that she said was French toast. So he knew that she ordered it, but he either wasn't listening, or he's just trying to make, uh, you know, it look so dramatic for the waitress. That's a lot of French toast. Fantastic. Look at that. And it's just gooping down the side. It's everywhere. Goop, goop, goopity goop. It's all about the goop, people. I love it, goopy, people. The more goop, the better, people. I have to believe that their server in her own head was thinking, God, what a moron. Get me away from this table as fast as possible, please. Ken, goop is not a word that is used in the culinary world. Show me an instance and I'll eat my own words. A legitimate one. Thank you. All right. All right, there's uh, what the eggs Benny looks like. That Cracker Barrel. Look what Carol got, man. Holy cow. I might have to help you. Because that's a lot of French. I haven't had their French toast in a very long time, so I might steal a slice. I really love how he invites himself to steal his wife's food. He doesn't say, may I have a slice? It's, I just might have to steal a slice. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. That's the Ken Doofus mindset. Take the eggs from that and put them there. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. That's what I want. Eggs this is the best, though, right there. Cracker Barrel. Do a little bit of this casserole. 
cheesy casserole. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was it really necessary of you, Ken, to show your O face at a table in a public restaurant? That's what it looked like to me. How embarrassing. With the onion and the cheese. We'll put the uh, breakfast dessert over here. The fried apples. This looks pretty good. It's funny that they don't do poached eggs, but I guess the closest you can get to poached egg is either sunny side or over easy. Uh, I guess I stand corrected on an earlier take in the video where I said that he, he kind of didn't focus or make mention of the non-poached eggs option at Cracker Barrel. He clearly did, although it's not the worst we've seen from him. But again, Ken, as we keep telling you, let it go, let it go. Taste the sauce. And it's funny, they put the meat on top of the egg. Well, it says in the menu, it says they put it on the bun, then the egg. But it looks like he has to find something else to passive aggressively uh, complain about. Oh, the meat wasn't on the bun. It was on top of my eggs. Oh, what will I do? This is a travesty. You always take your damn food apart, so what does it matter if it was on top or on the bottom? You're just gonna cut it up, shove it down your gullet, and it's gonna come out as a pile of crap anyways. It's not gonna make the food taste any different. So just eat it and shut the cluck up, you big jerk. Ha 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 ha. You see what I did there? Hollandaise sauce is not bad. It's got a little tanginess to it. Tangy! 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 Yeah, well, that will be the last The vinegar. Aw, poor Ken. He putting the food in his mouth just as his wife burns him with the that would be the lemon and he says the vinegar <laughs> typically citrus especially lemon is used to add that tangy flavor to the sauce some places will add vinegar or will only use vinegar if they're kind of cheaping out yeah. Sometimes they put vinegar I mean, lemon. You had it right the first time, Ken. Sometimes they put vinegar. 90% of the recipes I googled showed lemon in them. About 10% had, you know, white wine vinegar either in addition to the lemon or if lemon was not used. So, eh. good job, Carol. As usual, making Ken look like the doofus he is. Well, on the pork's on a biscuit. So, uh, I gave you two little pieces of ham on a biscuit. We're gonna cut up that, scoop it up with our shovel. Oh, for Pete's sake. Now he's back to calling his fork a shovel. Ken Donick and his infantile videos. How many other adults do you know in your lives who refers to a fork or a spoon as a fucking shovel? I didn't cut it all the way through. Now I'm going to go lots of holiday sauce. Oh, very good. 
Yeah. Mm. Excellent. Like the whole. The whole thing together. The whole package. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Now, is it just me, or does the way that Carol speaks to Kenny there almost seem somewhat patronizing? Like it reminds me of how some school teachers can be with elementary students when they they're trying to be overly encouraging of the the child so that they don't get discouraged as an adult it would almost be condescending or patronizing but in this instance because ken is such a man child you kind of have to do you know what you would with a child where you have to be over the top as if you aren't really paying attention to them that's what it comes off like to me they did a very good job uh, and they've got like um, chives yes or green green onions, yeah, green onions chives i'm not sure what the difference is those were definitely the stalks of a green onion or scallion, not chives like the doofus thought. The difference between a green onion and a chive is the fact that one is a herb and the other is a vegetable. A green onion, you can eat the stalk as well as an edible bulb. Chives are just a stalk with no edible bulb. Chives are also much thinner and grow longer typically, in addition to having a milder onion-like flavor to it. Around here, we like to give teachable moments or teachable things because Ken claims he doesn't watch the videos, but we know he does. So I had one of their biscuits. Now I'm having a second biscuit. And if I really want to be piggish, which I might be, I might have that sec third biscuit. Ken, you should have been honest and taken out the word might. You definitely were going to be piggish. You likely ate Carol's second biscuit as well. And we all know that you had French toast on top of that, sorry everybody for the little spoiler of what's yet to come. Mom, the biscuit overload. We'll have to go for a walk Definitely. after breakfast. Try and cut back on the insulin spike. Just give up talking about the health related stuff that you know zero about. Just because you watched a friggin YouTube video does not make you all of a sudden a health expert. So come on, Ken, what's an insulin spike? I bet you couldn't uh, adequately uh, describe or give uh, an explanation to what exactly it is and how you would combat it. Because you don't know anything. You watched one video, you picked up on a keyword and now you just use it in your own videos to make it sound like you know, uh, you know, healthy eating, healthy living. Mm. Do, do another like slow pour. Okay. Everything gonna, everything's great. Yeah, this is fantastic. There you go. A little slow pour. Carol's already put some on. I'm making her do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I made Carol do whatever the hell I tell her. Pour that sauce slowly, bitch. Do it. Oh yeah, that's getting me all nice and gooey down below the belt. Kenny loves that. Oh yeah, Carol. Oh. <laughs> we have a leftover. We're gonna take that home, maybe. Yeah, if you don't use it all. Yeah. 
think the eggs were a little slightly underdone that you normally would like. Yeah, but for the still good. for the, the um, scrambled. But I can't wait to get into that in a second. All right, let's try it right now. Thank you, Chuck. Yeah. Oh, look at that beautiful fried mm. apple. Mm. Nice and soft. Very sweet. Lots of cinnamon. Yeah, and they, uh, it's been a very long time since I've had this too, but I have had it in the past, like many, many years ago. I don't normally get it because, it's, again, it's very uh, sweet, syrupy. And again, I don't mind it. I just try to keep away from it as much as I can. We're on vacation. Carol and I are going to finish all this off. I'm going to see you back in the van. Actually, I'm going to probably steal one of your. I'm going to do it right now. All right. I'm going to steal one of your uh, things. Which one can I take? Whatever you like. There we go. Oh, I got two. Yes. <laughs> There's no syrup on it yet. No more syrup. Their syrup is really good, by the way. I wonder if they, what spread they use. I don't know. their sourdough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can taste that doughiness to it. Well, no shit, Sherlock. It's bread. Bread would have a doughiness to it. What you just said is a general statement. That's not how you would describe a sourdough bread from a loaf of regular white sandwich bread. Oh, uh, the sourdough is, you know, doughiness. So, uh, yeah, that's how you know it's sourdough, because it's doughy. Because of the doughiness, right? Yeah. It wouldn't be the, the fucking fermentation aspect to it, eh, Ken? I wish their uh, syrup was a little bit more thick. Yay, more complaining from Ken Doofus. Over something that is normal for literally every single maple syrup. Real maple syrup tends to be very liquidy. Table syrups, which are fake, are, you know, more, they have more viscosity to them because that's what happens with the, you know, the fake, the fakeness of them. So I guess we all know that Ken prefers the shitty fake table syrups over the real stuff. Similar to how he loves fast food over homemade quality food. Yeah. So it sticks to it. So the eggs, Benny, is amazing. Uh, you got to try that. Next time you got a Cracker Barrel. And of course, every time I come here, pretty much almost every breakfast, and one of my sides is the uh, casserole hash brown casserole but i think maybe next time we come to cracker barrel if we're here for breakfast i'll probably do this just to do it it was nice just to have one piece though just to get my fix <laughs> my french toast fix hmm. there you go ladies and gentlemen baby i'm done baby i'm done Baby all done, baby all done, Kenny is a baby and he's done with
picked his meal and he has to give himself an award to make him feel special because he wasn't loved enough as a child or he was loved too much. Ken gets the clean plate award and Carol is getting close. Yep. Her first plate's gone, so they're very efficient here. Mm. Carol's got one. Oh, she wants to get all that syrup. Number two. I won't be able to get all that syrup. Well, oh, come on. No. You can do it. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. <laughs> well, get a spoon. Get a straw. Do mm. it. There you go. Mm. All done. That was delicious. And here is the bill. So two ninety nine for the coffee. Uh, the French toast was uh, nine ninety nine. The biscuit Benny was eleven forty nine. Plus the country ham, fifty cents. Came to a grand total of twenty six sixty seven after taxes, plus a twenty percent tip. Seven bucks is good, eh? What do you think? We're keeping this though. We're keeping it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. all Have a great day. Did you need to do any shopping? Uh, so their bread now is five ninety nine. All right. All right. I forgot to get a loaf of bread. Of course. I don't need a bag, I'll just grab it like this. Well, I'm gonna let Carol drive because I need to do some editing for you guys and upload another vlog. And then and then I have to, on top of that, edit another food video. Where did I put it? Just moving around our waters and stuff before we start driving, get all organized. Uh, I just checked to see how much farther we have to go. We have to do 583 kilometers from here to my aunt and uncle's place. We'll be there just before six. But uh, how was breakfast? Oh, very good. Lunch? Oh. Thirsty blows! Yep, brunchy thing. <laughs> Our yep. brunch. It was very good. Very, very good. Uh, Too again, much, of course. Any of you guys who have never been to the United States, if you ever get the chance, check out a Cracker Barrel oh. and you'll enjoy it. Yes. Uh, it'll be one of your favorite places to stop and eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, but we got a lot of driving to do. I got a lot of editing to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate all the support you guys are giving us uh, across this channel and the other channel, uh, across all of our media. Well, wasn't that another lame KBD Productions TV video? He went to Cracker Barrel and had an Eggs Benny, just like he's had a dozen times on the channel. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all, because it's pretty much the exact same thing. He found shit to complain about. He made Carol do his bidding. And, as always, he didn't really review the food because he doesn't know how to talk about food. He's been on here for like 15 years, whatever the hell it's been, and he hasn't got any better. He's actually gotten worse. Today we learned that sourdough bread is doughy. But boy, I think it's hilarious that he's thanking them for giving them all the love and support across all their media. Ooh, you have the big channel and then your crappy little vlog channel that you're trying to to get you to, uh, use out of to make you more money because you're not doing your drunk streams anymore. It's all about the money, 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 money for Kenny, 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 Kenny. I, I can't recall. what What the hell was he trying to start up or... Or get the catch on ages ago. Like, we had Domic Nation. And that's never really taken off. And then wasn't there, like, some sort of, like, universe bullshit that he was trying to go for? Which I guess was, like, his version of the the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Except for the, like, I don't know, the KBD Universe. I, 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 as I said, I don't remember what the fuck it was because... It never took off, just like all the other stuff. Like, notice how in half his videos, he doesn't even do his, uh, bring your hunger crap at the end anymore. Like, he's too lazy to put that stuff in. And again, it never took off. I don't hear anyone saying, 
bring your hunger besides him. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks everybody for coming by. But until next time, this is KDDE signing out. Have a good one, be well, and don't do anything that Ken would. Social media, yes. The Ken Domic Dissemination Exposé channel would like to take a moment to thank its loyal KDDE community builders for their support of the channel. If you would like to see the channel continue to grow and offer new and unique content, then please consider hitting that join button. With a little bit of help from a whole lot of people, the sky is the limit on what can be done to combat the scourge of YouTube that is Ken Doofus. The one thing Ken Doofus hates to see is the channel gaining members. For just $1.99 per month, you can really piss Ken Doofus off.